Well, guys, we let Mark be yours truly with Eclipse Lawn Care, beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Survive and make it another day. Good, good, good. Morning. What's going on, what's going on, what's going on, city of Dallas, Texas? Morning. Nice to finally meet you. <laughs> let's get it on, let's get it on. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. Here in the beautiful city, Dallas, Texas. Texas. Back in the truck, fellas. It is pouring. Just in time. Just in time. Uh, yeah. Before we got this rain, rain. rain. All right, guys. We'll see you in a bit. Check, 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 check. Mike, check. Leave us a butthead or something, you know, man. Lip, 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 slog here. What's up, guys? Good morning. We're here at this commercial property. We're gonna. Well, we already knocked it out. We're. We just gotta blow. Pick up a little bit of debris, a little bit of trash. It's a Dollar General. Speaking of Dollar General, I need to go into Dollar General because I need to buy some WD-40. My doors are talking to me and talking to you. You hear that? All four doors does that, does that. I'm not too sure why. It's getting kind of annoying, so I'm gonna run into Dollar General, pick up some WD-40. What else did I tell you to remind me? WD-40. No, we gotta go weedy. No, 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 what, what, what was it oh, I need to pick up from Dollar WD General? WD-40 fix flat fix and flat because the i know guys y'all guys are gonna say don't use fix and flat but you know what i gotta use fix and flat there's a i think i've got a screw yep right there there's a screw right right there so i'm gonna run into dollar general and i'm gonna hand this off to mark but we'll let him uh vlog a little bit i'll be right back What's up ladies and gentlemen we are out here today on ketchup Friday whatever yards or properties that the heat didn't beat us out of or did beat us out of should I say uh, we're going ahead and taking care of those um, I think it's only like one or two that we didn't get to we gave up at the end of the day and was like uh, you know what it's hot we'll get it tomorrow and you know how that goes don't start that guys because <laughs> then you find yourself uh playing catch up friday unless you just got yards all through the week then you're gonna be out there anyways uh mark's got me blogging i need to blow this property off we just did this this is actually the uh dollar general and we kind of do some trash pickup blow the whole lot We always got to play it safe around here because we have a lot of uh, cars and a lot of guys delivering products to the store. Uh, and in the past, we've had issues where we have a lot of traffic, a lot of people walking, pedestrians and whatnot. Uh, we're, we're trying to be more courteous to them people when it comes to doing our weed eating and mowing and whatnot. Um, we had an issue with the AT&T company one day and we're gonna not let that happen anymore. But anyways, long story short, this property's usually a mess and it takes us quite a while to get it done. A lot of trash pickup, a lot of debris. As you can imagine, they got trash cans sitting out front that when the wind blows, it pretty much takes a trash right out of the can with it and seems to make it from one side of the parking lot to the other it takes a lot of time a lot of effort <laughs> instead of a quick go they don't have any uh, I guess parking lot maintenance around here that takes and cleans up the parking lot every now and then or whatever but anyways, I'm gonna get to blowing this property, you guys, while Mark's in the dollar store, so that, uh, I guess getting fixed a flat. No, no. Getting fixed a flat and some WD-40, cause his doors have really bad gas when you tend to open them and close them. Which is weird. For this side, let's go to the other side. Saturate the hinges to the 
long. I think that should do it. Whoa! Did you get some Beano for your truck doors? I think that should do it. Let's give it a shot to see. Oh. oh my gosh. That's got to be the quietest door this side of Texas. All right, we had to come back to a property and cut down this fence line. Customer called and said, hey, how come you guys haven't been weed eating on the fence line on the north side of the fence? I tell them that's HOA's problem. I mean, not problem, but that's their duty, right? So uh, he goes, no, y'all guys are supposed to be doing that, but no, that, that's HOA's, uh, I guess, responsibility. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. It's right there where Mark. So of course, we're responsible for mowing, taking care of all this up front. This is the acre property. And all this is HOA. And we've never, ever mowed or weed eat on this side. And you can see how thick it is. So, I don't know guys, what do y'all think? But I told them we'll come out here and knock it out for them. I told them, you know, talk to the HOA guys, mowing company and, uh, let them know that they're forgetting that fence line but either way he's a good customer never had an issue with with his customer he's a great customer so uh i'll tell him we'll come out here and lock it out so we'll see if the hoa takes care of it next week all right guys i'm going to give you an update on the saint augustine installation we did a couple of weeks ago and here it is let's go ahead and uh, check it out coming in pretty oh yeah it's definitely got some good roots on it so we brought a couple of pieces just to get this back corner shouldn't take too long to install <clears throat> well guys we let Mark be yours truly with Eclipse Lawn Care, beautiful city of Dallas, Texas. Survive and make it another day. Let's see how he does today, guys. Get after it. Oh, whoa. So here it is. We got some good St. Augustine right here. Let's go uh, install it. Let's do it. Pretty easy. It only took about a minute. Got the machete. Got Mark, he's ready. Let's cut it. Hey. You talking smack, Mark. I know how to handle a machete. Don't be talking smack, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I think that was just an incriminating verbal thread uh -oh. on live. No. <laughs> well, we got it on video, guys. If anything ever happens to me, uh, Watch your hands. You know what's going on. Yeah, Mark Mark just got in the way. That's all that happened. That's all that happened, guys. Mark just was in the way on accident. It, it was an accident, I promise. <laughs> beautimus, beautimus. All right, guys. Man, Mark was just telling me about a story that happened. Well, it's not a story, it's something that he did yesterday, which I think, I mean, it, it definitely touched my heart and this is definitely an encouragement word. I'm just gonna let Mark take it over, take over the camera. Oh, see, what had happened was, is I used to have a 2000 Honda Accord four door sitting in my driveway that I had uh, purchased a while back and did some trading for and wound up buying it back and only paid a few hundred bucks for it uh, sat in my driveway for a really long time and I got a phone call yesterday from some old friends of ours um, basically they had got hard up and the whole losing jobs and making it hard to find other jobs with the corona thing going on and whatnot and they wound up out on the street homeless and uh, was calling me asking if there was any way I could help them out, whatever. They didn't have transportation. They didn't have nowhere to sleep, nowhere to go. Uh, only place they could think of was home out in, in um, what did I say it was, Montana? Montana. Montana, about a 20 hour drive or so from here. But uh, 
came over uh, offering me some cash for the car and they only had like 600 bucks on them um, they weren't gonna have but a couple hundred bucks left if anything after they purchased the car um, to get anywhere so a car with no gas is no good of course um, car runs good battery everything works in it heat AC had a decent set of tires on it uh, whatnot pretty much everything you'd need to get across town um, and I was sitting in the living room eating tacos uh, my wife made us some tacos and I was just sitting there eating and uh, Mark man uh, tacos are still good okay and uh, <laughs> and I was just sitting there and I, I had a voice kind of talking to me in the back of my head and yeah, I kind of stopped for a minute and procrastinated on what it could be and I'm, I'm sitting there thinking and I just get this overwhelming feeling and I start getting a voice in my head telling me come on Mark man I blessed you I've given you everything you pretty much asked for uh, I continue to bless you every day with a good family a roof over your head a car in your driveway and uh, means to make money and bless me with this guy right here. Oh right man, here. I love that story, man. Keep, I mean, I love. It. Keep going. <laughs> but uh, I just started feeling kind of anxious and kind of got goosebumps and started really thinking about it. And God was telling me, man, you should just give them this car, and uh, it's gonna help them get down the road. And since I've blessed you so much, and I've kind of sent these people to you because I feel like you have a means of a way of blessing them back and getting them where they need to be. So go on and give them that car and tell them to keep their money and save it for their trip down the road and hopefully they uh, make out okay. And that's pretty much the gist of the story. I just thought it was a good deed and I felt like God was telling me to do it. So I listen. Everybody, you hear him? Listen. Do what he says to do stay on his good side but uh that's just basically the story man and and i hope they get where they need to be that is awesome man dude after like a long tough hot week listening to this story man that definitely uh not only encourages me to step up my game and help others too but i mean it, it's a good help your neighbors help guys. your neighbors help bro your neighbors we all need help some way form fashion or another we all need help man just and listen to god when he's talking to you recognize Man, it for sure especially like you know in the news well i mean social social uh, social media social media <laughs> and the news i mean all we hear is doom and gloom That's it. negativity and you to don't hear, hear the good stuff no that man people do on a daily basis so still. So man, man, that was pretty awesome what Mark did. Didn't do it for any type of personal gain, guys. No. I didn't do it for fame or fortune or none of that. No. I don't expect nothing in return from these people or or God to to yeah. do anything special for me or anything like that. It was just him I feel like it was just him telling me you have means of, of helping these people and he sent them our way for a reason and that's how they got that, the that is an awesome story man seriously but either way dude you are definitely going to be blessed man and uh i mean no doubt about it yeah mark was telling me he's like man i really don't want to talk about it or whatever you know because i didn't i don't want people to think that i'm trying to get something from you guys but i told him nah dude i think this is something we need we need some type of uh, encouragement some kind of motivation maybe even a challenge especially during these hard times but help man that, that was awesome it got to help friends boom take care of your family there you go man but i guess we're gonna go ahead and leave that vlog where it's at and uh y'all guys let me know in the comments if uh y'all have had an experience like this where you had a tugging in your heart where you had to help somebody out maybe uh give them amount of money or a car or whatever i mean it's whoo uh, <laughs> that, challenge <laughs> that, that's an awesome story uh definitely uh it's it's it, it made my week after a hard week Good right yep. so it was a tough one it was a tough one but we got it through and then just hearing this story what mark did i think that's just the icing on the cake but all right guys we'll see you on the next video peace, Love peace. <laughs>